just a marking time fight to keep the fans happy, to keep myself active until I get the world title fight. That's all it is. I walk across the ring and jab him in the face. That's how, that's how, that's how I would fight. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a coward. He realizes, you know, what's going to happen on the night. I'm going to absolutely destroy him. And there's all big talk you know, prior to the fight. Now the fight's signed. This is, you see, I could already feel him sort of cowering away because he, he knows the, the task in hand is too big, too strong, too fast, too powerful, and he's going to end up not spark out. If the longer the fight goes, the tougher it is for him. You know, you know it's, listen, we're, we're both a similar size. I've been a heavyweight for longer. I used to be the same weight that he currently holds a world title at. So in terms of looking at us next to each other, there's not that much difference. But the difference is I've been in the ring competing in sparring and in fights against heavyweights for many years now. And that type of uh, ground and that type of foundation that I've built over the years I've been heavyweight are going to be real evident as soon as that first bell rings. All I've noticed is Eddie Hearn, it's the Eddie, it's the Eddie Hearn show, he just fight, gives him the opportunity to shut his big mouth. What is there to like about him? What is, there's nothing to like about the guy, there's nothing to like about him whatsoever. He just constantly talks foolishness, non-stop. 